problem three, test three review. A boat has a mass of 60 kilograms and its uh, density is 0.4 gram per cubic centimeter. So it's uh, less dense than water, which is one gram per cubic centimeter. How much mass can you add onto the boat before it is on the verge of sinking? So if I keep adding mass to this boat, its density is gonna increase, right? Until its density equals to the density of water. So um, here's what we gotta do. We gotta say the density of the boat is equal to 0.4 gram per cubic centimeter. Let's change that to kilogram per cubic meter, okay? This one, it's better to change it. So uh, remember we learned one gram per cubic centimeter is equal to 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter. So 0.4 would be 400, right? So that's equal to 400 kilogram per cubic meter. That's equal to the mass of the boat divided by the volume of the boat. So the problem doesn't tell us at all about the volume of the boat, right? So using this information, we know the mass of the boat is 60. I can actually calculate the volume of the boat. The volume of the boat is 60 divided by 400. <clears throat> so since this is kilogram, kilogram, kilogram cancel, meter cube goes up there, you get volume of the boat is 60 over 400 meter cubed. <clears throat> so what is that equal to? 0.15 cubic meter, right? So now if I add mass to this, so let's say people get on top of the boat, you add uh, bags of uh, grain, bags of salt, whatever, things that you're carrying with you in the boat, right? So people get on it, and then as people get on it, and then they start carrying their luggage or whatever, does the boat start sinking, right? The volume of the boat is not changing, only its mass is changing, right? So the new density of the boat is gonna equal what? The final density of the boat, the final density of boat is equal to its final mass, right, which is equal to 60 plus how much mass you can add on top. Let's say all the mass that you added, M added. So let's call that M added. <clears throat> divided by the volume of the boat, which is 0.15, right? So if you add 60 plus whatever mass you add, you keep the volume the same. And when does the boat start sinking? When its final density reaches 1,000, right? The density of water is 1,000, okay? So if the final density reaches 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter, then the added mass, uh, we can solve for that. So what is that gonna be? 60 plus the added mass is equal to 1,000 times 0.15, what is that equal to? 150, right? <clears throat> Therefore, the added mass is equal to what? 150 divided by 60, I mean, uh, minus 60, that's 90 kilograms. Like 150 minus 6. So you can kind of do this kind of calculation whenever you are uh, going on a boat. Now, <clears throat> most types of boats, maybe their uh, mass is going to be lighter. Depends if it's a fishing boat or whatever. Maybe their density is even going to be smaller. So you could probably add more stuff to it. Okay. So this is how to approach these kinds of problems. Thank you.